In 2014, seven adolescents died by suicide in El Paso County. In 2015, from May to June only, five adolescents died by suicide. Two of them were friends from the same middle school. These unnecessary deaths have left family and friends devastated, leaving them to ask, how could we have missed the warning signs? When young people feel stressed, they are always gonna find a way to release that. We as adults would hope that those are healthy ways to relieve that stress, whether that's um, engaging in sports, talking to adults, trusted friends and relatives, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes as parents, we may chalk that up as just being a, uh, a teenager acting out or doing things that teenagers do. It moves beyond typical stress when it's prolonged or when the stress is so big that they don't have the coping skills to be able to address it. Being able to tell when a young person might need mental or behavioral health services is critical. Because we do know that teenagers will reach out. If they are going through a crisis, they're going to try to reach out to some other avenue for relief, whether that be drugs, promiscuous behavior, what we call risky behavior, driving fast. They may be self-harm, cutting. There may be threats of suicide. There may be extreme behavioral issues and a lot of anger. According to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, 50% of all cases of mental illness begin by age 14. At Aspen Point's Crisis Stabilization Unit, almost one-third of all patients are under the age of 18. I think the biggest time, or most often when schools send students, is because they've heard a student express suicidal ideation, which means they're talking about suicide, they're thinking about suicide, and that's very touchy. A lot of people don't want to talk about it. They become frightened, and that's where mental health first aid really has its power. Youth Mental Health First Aid is an eight-hour class that helps people understand the warning signs of adolescents in distress and how to direct them to appropriate resources. The training is free and anyone can become certified. Learning how to recognize the onset of mental illness is of great importance to the Fountain Fort Carson School District, where many schools are located on the Fort Carson Army Base. Due to military cycles, schools see a 35% student turnover rate every year. We do have counselors, we do have school psychologists, we do have social workers who do an, a wonderful job, but they're not with students day in and day out. In 2015, the Fountain Fort Carson School District began the process of training their entire staff in youth mental health first aid. For teachers and paraprofessionals and our cafeteria and support personnel to be able to engage with students and look for those risk factors and then lead those students to the proper supports has been amazing. Staff feedback from taking the course has been very positive. Someone said, this explains so much of what I see in student behavior that I didn't really understand before. I felt that I could take this back to the classroom tomorrow and use it right away. Youth Mental Health First Aid is highly recommended for anyone who has regular contact with young people. The benefits of taking the class are opening your awareness, reducing your fear, and I think enabling you to be able to have conversations about what you're seeing and maybe how best you can support someone. Right now, Youth Mental Health First Aid is free to the general public. In order to keep it free, we need your help. Please donate to Youth Mental Health First Aid. A mere $20 will pay for someone's textbook. $50 covers the full course. You can sponsor the certification of an instructor for $1,000 or pay for an entire class to be trained for $2,000. Every bit helps. Thank you. And in second place. We need to keep it going. It's vital that we keep it going, but we can only keep it going if people like you and I step forward and contribute. It is not only an investment in our youth, it is an investment in our society. I absolutely think this training can help save students' lives.